Google Chromecast, what is it and how does it work? Well, this turns your standard TV into a smart TV. So let's look at how this works. So the Google Chromecast is available in two versions right now. You get the standard uh, second generation one, which is this one right here. And uh, now they've released a ultra version, which is for 4K TV. So if you have a 4K TV and you have some 4K content, then uh, I would say go for the ultra. It's about uh, 1,700 bucks. So uh, not a cheap device compared to this one, which was only triple nine. Um, so it's quite tiny and it comes with a HDMI uh, cable attached to it uh, that connects directly into your television. You also have a micro USB for powering the device. It's a really nice device for casting to your television. So these are the uh, these are the type of applications that are compatible with the Chromecast. You can uh, cast Netflix, anything on Google Play, YouTube, Spotify, uh, Pandora, CBS and obviously Facebook. So you are limited with some applications. This is not DSTV ready. So for people that live in South Africa, this unfortunately does not support DSTV. But uh, it's a really nice small device to have. If your TV is a smart TV, then you really do not require such a device. These are brought up more for the older HD TVs that uh, do not have any Wi-Fi capability. All I need to do is just connect this directly into the HDMI of the television and power it using its micro USB charger that's provided in the box. So the first thing I need to do is connect the uh, Chromecast to a Wi-Fi device. So to do that, all I need to do is go and download an app called uh, Google Home. This device, you can find it on any Android or iOS uh, app store. Um, and then simply open it. Okay, Chromecast found. So once I find my Chromecast, now I need to connect it to the Wi-Fi. So I say yes. It has found the code on your TV. I say okay, yes, exact same code. And then, yes, I am in. And then I will search for a Wi Fi device. So, yeah, I'm connecting to my iPad. So, it's already been selected. And I'll say next. And then I'll untick this box. Use this Wi Fi network to set up future devices. It's always because I change between the iPad or my local uh, router. Next again. And now it says connecting. And if I move to the to the screen, you'll notice it's not connecting. So this might take a few minutes. Okay, there we go. So you can see it's finally connected. And if I switch back to my cell phone, okay. And now the app will ask me where is this device so you can now state uh, the location of the device. Okay, so the device is stored in the living room so I'm going to say like it's a living room and then hit the next and link in your Chromecast. So there we go and that's it. So it asks you to look at a tutorial. I'm going to say skip tutorial. And it now takes you into the Google Home page. So basically the Chromecast can either uh, cast any of your uh, applications like Facebook, uh, Google Play, YouTube, Netflix, or you have the option to mirror your screen. So, okay, so if I switch my, to my television, you can see the Google Home running in the background. So display some random photos, but you can actually turn this off. Um, remember your cell phone has the Google Home app. So this is basically your kind of remote. Once you have set up your uh, mobile phone uh, to link to the Chromecast, you can now either cast any of your favorite applications or you can actually mirror your phone. So I'm just gonna come uh, back to my settings here. I'm gonna click on the settings, cast screen and audio. 
I say okay, uh, cast to the living room, and there we go. So if I switch back to my to my television, so you can now see the screen mirrored of my mobile phone onto the television, and if I go to any of my apps, this is now my mobile phone. And now I can actually go into any of my applications and actually mirror my phone. So let's quickly go into, for example, maps. And you can see a exact mirror of my mobile phone onto the TV. So it's a really nice device to cost. Uh, I'm really happy with it so far. I've had it for about a week or so. And uh, it's really fun to have around. I would recommend using the YouTube app built on Google Home. So uh, a mirroring of the uh, mobile phone onto your television does cause some delay, especially with videos. So rather sw switch the mirroring off. disconnect go into any uh, application like YouTube once you hit the cast button So as you can see it's now casting, I can now use my mobile phone standard device uh, and navigate through any of my applications while still casting onto the television. So really a nice device to own so you get a really good value for your buck. So I hope this video helped you with the chrome casting, really nice device to have. It's only a thousand bucks in South African rands, try get a hold of one. Let's convert your TV into a smart TV, I mean, what more do you want? If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, also smash that like button for more tech reviews coming out soon.